want to be Sophia the Shadow Hunter, and this review is a little bit late because I finished this book about one week and a half, two weeks ago. And that is my review of A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I've been wanting to read this for probably about one and a half to two years, and I love this. I gave this a five out of five stars. It was spooky, it was scary, perfect time for Halloween. It really didn't scare me. It takes a lot to scare me, and this really did not scare me. It was just kind of creepy, but I like creepy stuff. There's beautiful pictures, and I love the story. So the story, if you haven't read it, or if you have, is about Connor. And his mother has been sick for quite some time. And one night, a monster comes to his house and, and befriends him and tries to find out what's going on. And about halfway through the book, the monster's like, I'm here for you to tell me the truth. And it's all about him dealing with his mother's sickness and all of that. And at the end, um, it, it reveals the truth about what really happened and how he had to let that go. There's beautiful, beautiful pictures in this. If you have not read this book, I highly recommend it. I'll, I would definitely reread it. It was a very fast-paced read. It was really well written, really interesting. The relationship that he had with his mother and his family was quite interesting. He really did get along with his grandma, but he loved his mother and they were really close. And so her sickness, seeing her sick in and out of the hospital was really hard on him. And um, he and he school age, so he's in school and just dealing with that. Um, his parents were, um, I believe they were separated. And so it was just him and his mom. His grandma came down to help while she was sick and now the hospital with, um, I think, chemotherapy. It's pretty evident she has some sort of a cancer. But it was just a very, very, very well, good, touching book. This is my first book I've read by Patrick Ness, and I really want to read the rest of us just live here and some of his other books. So hopefully next year I'll read some more of his books, or maybe this year we'll see. Um, I only I have about eight books left on my top 16 for this year, and so I'm really excited. I shall be able to finish that by the end of the year or maybe even before at this rate because I've already read like four books this month so I'm really happy about that I'm about to finish my fifth and I'll probably squeeze one more in there or almost one more in there this month has been great we we'll got lots of reading done I'm just really excited about that um, especially since in August or September I didn't read as much as I wanted to um, past couple months have been kind of difficult for me. I've been working a little more or a little less. Um, my schedule is constantly changing, so it's hard to get a lot of reading done. But I've got a lot of reading done this month, and I'm really happy about that. Let me know what books you guys have been reading, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.